Hey, how you doing? Pretty happy today. And guess what we're gonna talk about? We're gonna talk about how to be happy. Who would have thought? All right, so this is really, really cool topic. I love being happy. I hope you do too. We're gonna talk about ways how you can instantly make yourself happy. And welcome back to another video, my fellow goal getter. And if this is your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss anything. And if you don't, I'd probably not be so happy. So I appreciate if you did that. All right, we're gonna get started right now. All right, there are so many ways to be happy. And the cool thing, you, you can do it instantly and they're all so simple. But I wanna take you guys back to a time where, where I wasn't happy. Um, because if, if you're watching this right now and you're not happy, I'm not gonna sit here and say I know how you feel, but I know how that feels. You know, and I'm not even gonna get into the four year stay that I did in prison prior to this experience that I'm getting ready to share with you. Uh, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know all about that story. And if not, I'll leave a link, a matter of fact, right there. You can check it out, there's my story. Um, but let's talk about this part of my story where I wasn't happy. Like, I came home from prison. Um, I stopped doing the drugs, but I was drinking on the weekends with my friends. I was 23 at the time. And I was working 50 to 60 hours a week at a bar and grill. And then I got a job at a clothing store and uh, it was an upgrade from the cooking job. And I got promoted right away within two weeks in there because I was just the bomb diggity at sales, whatever. Uh, they, they hooked me up with a promotion. And so I put in my two weeks at that bar and grill uh, where I had stability in my life. And a few days after that, I get a call from the clothing store like, hey, Mr. Babcock, you're here, convicted felon. You gotta kick rocks. And that sucked, you know, and I should have, you know, totally responded to that differently. But at the time, it, it was a low blow. I felt like I was never gonna be able to advance in life and have happiness and success that no matter what I did, my past was always gonna come back and haunt me. These are the types of, feel, of the thoughts that were going through my head and, and what I was feeling. And it led me to a, a very depressed time. You know, I started drinking heavily. I became an alcoholic. I'm talking about as soon as I woke up in the day, uh, at 10, when I finally woke up at like 10 in the morning, started drinking all the way throughout the night to two, three, and four in the morning. And this went on for months. And eventually, I, it led me back to getting a DWI while I was on parole, which caused me to violate my parole and get locked back up and head back to prison for eight months. And that was 20 days before my twin sons were born. So that was even a lower blow. Now that sucked. And there were, I remember there were, looking back now, hindsight, 2020 hindsight, um, I could see that there were things that I was doing that enhanced this depression I was going through. And there was a lot of things that I could have done, simple little thing, little tweaks that could have made a world of a difference. And we're gonna talk about them right now. The first thing that we can do to instantly change our mood and to be happy is by changing our physiology. Simple as that, just by the way we breathe, by the way we hold our body posture, and by the way the facial expressions we make, makes the world of the difference. Like if you're slouching in your chair right now and if you sit up straight, you immediately feel the different, the, the, the different emotional state that's involved with that. You feel the, the bursts of energy. If you start, if you're walking around with a frown on your face, but you just turn it into a smile, as soon as you start smiling, that makes you feel happy. <laughs> it just does. And, and the same with breathing, you know? If you're just breathing, you know, you know, like that, that's, yeah, that's gonna cause you to feel tired, depressed, whatever, all that stuff. But if you're like, I know that looks silly, but if you do that, that can immediately change your emotional state, and make you feel happy. And here is the meat and potatoes of the video. If you remember anything from this video, it's this tip right here. Boom, nugget time. Uh, the best way to be happy is to literally control what you focus on because what we focus on determines how we feel. So if you're focusing and thinking about bad memories, you're gonna have those feelings that are associated with that memory. Or if you're listening to music that's down and, and, and the Debbie Downer music, I don't, it's gonna make you feel that way. Um, if you're you know worried about the future or things that you might be missing out on, those are gonna cause feeling undesired feelings and it's gonna affect your life in a bad way. But if you shift that and start focusing on things that you do want, things that make you happy, 
um, th listening to music that is upbeat and makes you feel good, you know, and has a positive message like that makes all the difference in the world. So control what you focus on. That's why having goals, setting goals is so powerful. Not only does it actually get help us get what we actually want in life, it's the key to getting what we want in life is by actually setting goals, but it also gives you something to shoot for that makes you happy and, and gives you a sense of purpose in your life. And there is nothing more powerful than a sense of purpose because when I found a purpose in my life, I was able to turn my life around. But prior to not having a purpose in my life, I was a drug addict because I didn't feel like I had no purpose and I didn't have no, life didn't have no meaning to it. So I did the drugs to numb myself. Uh, I was able to, to, to overcome that of years of drug addiction and, and years of spent in prison and having all these odds stacked against me and getting fired from my jobs and all that stuff. And when I found that purpose, I was able to turn it all around. You know, so it's powerful. So have those goals, control what you focus on. So as we head on out of here, if this is your first time here, or if, if you haven't downloaded my free goal getter cheat sheet yet, I highly recommend you to do so right now. This is a goal process that I've developed over the last few years on how I turned my life around from being a drug addict and spending all that years in prison to becoming a responsible father and a successful entrepreneur. And all the things that I've learned in the process through setting goals and everything, this will dramatically improve your life if you follow this easy six step simple process of dominating your life and you can get it for free by simply clicking right here and if you know anybody that could benefit from this message that, that they, they could use a little happiness in their lives I mean who couldn't but if you know somebody that really could please share this message with them you never know what the right message for the right person at the right time what they could do and I appreciate you so so much if this is your first time here hit the subscribe button make sure you tap the bell notification so you don't miss anything and keep crushing those goals keep dominating life thanks for watching I will see you next time